Well, hello again, everyone. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus Drydocks.com. Got a cool boat to share with you. It's the Scorpion. So what you see here is the uh, Skipjack class USS Scorpion, rendered in 172nd scale from the Mobius plastic models kit. And this uh, came to me with the hull complete and uh, a watertight cylinder included, but not installed. A really, really nice job on the paint and weathering of this boat. As you know, this is a plastic model kit available from Mobius that really suits itself well to RC conversion. So the Mobius kit is a beautiful size, kind of halfway between those little small static display plastic models that they have from like World War II era boats and the big fiberglass boats. So this is 42 inches in overall length and I'm gonna guess it's got about a five or six inch beam, which means you've got lots of room to put stuff inside without having to assemble it with tweezers and needle nosed pliers. This particular boat is outfitted with an R and R watertight cylinder. Let's show you what that looks like. Access to the hull is actually pretty easy. It's not bad. There's a little hole underneath the bow here, and you just put this. Uh, what size is this? Uh, Seven sixty-four Allen wrench inside and uh, it undoes a stainless bolt that holds the upper hull down to the lower hull. Um, of course, doing it this way means you've got no clasps or hold downs or anything like that uh, visible from the top. So from a cosmetic perspective, works really good. Pop the top off. We can see we've got some flotation foam up in there and uh, an intake for the snorkel. I've got that pinned by a rubber band. I'm just going to set this down right now. And this is a quick disconnect. Just undo that. And now the upper hull is completely disconnected from the lower hull. So here is the interior of the boat. And as I mentioned, this is uh, an R&R &R watertight module. Everything is still wet because we just had it out in the pool where it did amazingly well. But basically, this system is set up with a pump ballast system. So let's start at the, at the back here, and I'll show you what uh, we've got going on. We've got some magnetic connectors here, along with a really unique universal joint back here. You can see it's got a little bit of slop in these little rubber bumpers that make things nice and smooth when it goes from forward into reverse. Bellow seals in here. This is a uh, test hose that you can slip off a, a, an extended one. You can dunk the cylinder, pressurize the cylinder, and look for leaks. Got our main drive motor in here, our servos, our water pump. And uh, the way this basically works is it pumps water into the cylinder, air evacuates via this snorkel hose here up out the sail. Uh, until it reaches the bottom of the intake and then it can't pump any more water in. The water just goes out the hose. So it leaves a nice little air pocket in the top of the cylinder. When you surface, the flow is reversed. If you are completely submerged at that time, there is actually a little snorkel valve in the sail of the boat. When it's underwater, it's closed, so no air is able to be sucked in to the ballast tank and what ends up happening is the water is pulled out and that little air pocket I mentioned earlier uh, expands, becomes uh, more of a vacuum inside. So you gain positive buoyancy, come up to the surface, the snorkel breaches, opens up, equalizes pressure and you continue to evacuate the water from your ballast tank. It's a very slick system. I had actually implemented uh, something on the Argonaut that I did based on this. Uh, Ron Pro engineered these uh, cylinders and uh, offers them for sale. Up front, you can see uh, two electronic speed controllers. One is for the water pump for the ballast system, and one is for the main drive motor. Nestled up next to it, you can see this nice little uh, 900 megahertz receiver. And then tucked underneath is a big 
3300 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery pack. And that is it. Um, very, very simple system, very reliable, and it works really well. Uh, installation and removal is really easy. You just uh, undo these heavy duty rubber bands, front and back. Grab the front of the cylinder. Uh, well, actually, before you do that, just disconnect your magnetic linkages. That was easy. Grab it right on the front, lift it up, slide it forward, and hey, you've got a cylinder all out and uh, ready for maintenance, upgrade, battery charging, whatever you need to do. And uh, this is what's inside. You got all of your ballast weights low down in the keel, providing a lot of stability for the boat. Not a lot to it. Um, a very simple submarine, but exceptionally fun to drive. Taking a look at some footage of this in the pool that we uh, just tested it in a few minutes ago, uh, this sizable boat, 42 inches in length, actually maneuvers really well in the swimming pool. Now you're not gonna do figure eights or anything like that, but you can certainly do laps in the pool and it's infinitely controllable uh, for depth, you can uh, dive down to the bottom, surface up to the top, do your laps. So a really fun boat because it is so fast and so maneuverable and so easy to drive. All right, let me show you this thing all fired up and show you all the control surfaces working. So as you know, first step is always to turn the radio on. And in this case, this is a uh, FreeSky Horus 900 megahertz system and uh, is broadcasting on 900 megahertz to the boat. With that, you have full submerged operation of the boat. Now, I believe I have this set on 200 uh, milliwatts of output. This will output up to a watt, which means you're gonna have tremendous amount of power to get down real deep if you want to. Of course, that's gonna affect battery time, but it's whatever you wanna do. So this is all turned on and uh, ready to go. The battery is connected here. And uh, to turn the unit on, you just push this little switch right here. And you see the receiver light has come on. And now in theory, everything should work. We've got rudder control. We got bow planes, or sorry, stern planes. And uh, we've got our throttle. And we've got our pump. So from a control perspective, this radio has like amazing flexibility. It will be able to power anything that you want this boat to do at any time in the future. Um, but the way I've got it set up is you've got your stern planes right here, your rudder, your throttle, and your ballast system. And that's it, you've got a lot of controls free. This will actually output up to 24 channels of control and uh, will support up to three independent receivers. So you could have, uh, of that particular one, you could have 24 channels of control of the boat. I don't know what you're gonna do with them, but hey, whatever you want. Well, there you go, everyone. 172nd scale USS Scorpion ready for a new owner. This boat would be something that I would really recommend for somebody just looking to get into the hobby because it is a great size, it's a simple design, very maneuverable, fast, easy to use. That having been said, even if you're an experienced RC skipper, just because of the scale fidelity, the weathering job, and the performance of the boat, this is something you should really think about adding to your fleet if you don't already have it. So, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please do like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below or shoot me an email at bob at nautilusdrydocks.com. I'd love to hear from you. With that, I am going to let you go. You guys have a great day and we'll catch you next time.